These are images of the last time Elena Burden says she saw her sister, Tatyana Kalushnya, at the Polish-Ukrainian border. Burden traveled from her home in Calgary to meet Kalushnya there. She only saw her sister for a few minutes before she turned around and crossed the border again. She kissed kids, hugged them, and walked away. And she said, I can give you my kids hand to hand because I trust you. You can take care of them. But uh, I will go back to Ukraine. Kalushna returned to Revirye in southern Ukraine to be with her husband. Burden says her sister is prepared to pick up a gun and defend her home. I could say nothing to her, you know. It's, uh, it's no begging. It's, uh, you know, like I've tried. I've tried. Especially when she was here in Poland, safe, already. Why? Why? Stay here. I will take care about you and I will take care about the kids. She said, no. Don't 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 tell me don't don't say me anything. I've made my decision. Burden remains at a hotel in Warsaw with her eight and ten year old nephew and niece, sister in law Yana Kalushna and her daughter. She says Yana is devastated to leave behind her husband. His advice to stay strong and look out for their little girl. The child is the most important. So think about her and don't think about me. Burden reluctantly accepts her sister's decision, admitting she would do the same. Her focus now is on the children who have been told they're going on a vacation to Canada. All what I can do is to save the kids and give them a life without uh, bomb shelters, without air sirens, you know. Burden hopes to be back in Calgary by the end of the week. I want to give them those kids some better life, normal kids' lives, so they can forget about this, at least for a little bit. Carolyn Curry de Castillo, Global News.